Hey, Mike and John here from Puma Plow. Today we're going to play a little Minecraft. Uh, this video is going to center on, we're going to show you what John's been up to in his world. Yeah. Um, mostly John, I built some things here, some other people built some things. But uh, I thought we'd show you around a little bit, so here we go. This is my childhood home, it's beautiful. Lots of furnaces. Did you build it when you were a child? I, this is the first thing I built on Minecraft, actually. Lots yeah. of furnaces. And it's had some upgrades over the years, like uh, this door, you know, it's like a garage door, kind of. Because, you know, it's really hard to open a door by yourself. It, yeah, it's pretty sweet. It has a pool out front, balcony pool. You know, you get up out of your bed and go take a dip in the morning, you know. That way you can shower and pee all at once. Exactly, it has some vines. Oh, it even has a door, doesn't it? I haven't seen that. Well, yeah. Nice. You got a nice little tower of pimps. Yeah. Shout out the Achievement Hunter. Achievement Hunter, yes. And then we started mining. Or I started mining. And this was a big hill here, of course. And uh, boy, did we mine. Yes, we did. So this mine goes all the way from wherever down to bedrock? Bedrock. It's what, I don't know, 80 layers or something? It's a lot. And we mined this whole thing out. Basically, John and I, a lot of John, I helped a yeah. little bit. Um, Team effort. And so we had to build stairs because this was before creative mode. So we had to yes, build this, stairs. This entire mine was done before creative mode. The old-fashioned, hardcore way. So. And then we, you know, shot out here and there to uh, explore other parts of the mine. Got a nice disco room here, you know. You can dance here. You can dance if you want to. That hallway, it looks like daylight, but it's really not. We're not it's just that here. long. There's water apparently there's water somewhere. Yes. I think it's to our right. And so we had to mine all this out, you know, to find things. Is that why you mine? To find stuff? Or to get black along oh, okay. one or the other. That's cool. Yeah. Found lots of caves along the way, too. There's one down there. Pretty sweet. So we'll climb all the stairs now. Like so herky-jerky. This was lava, and I was pissed off when I was mining and I fell into this lava pit and lost so much stuff. So when you mine, if you crouch, you won't fall into lava. It's amazing. And then, because the stairs are hard, we built a train line down into the mine. Yes. So that um, a lot easier access up and down. So what do we build next? You have a house that used to be here. I had a house, but John made me tear it down. We took it out. He became the government and went eminent domain on me and Let's, uh, show made off, me destroy it. Show off the train station. Yeah. This is, uh, how big is this? 50 by 50? 50 by 50. I want to say, and I don't know how high, like 20 something high or 30 something high. Yep. Uh, glowstone glass, iron block, and orange wool, clearly. Of course orange wool. It's pretty sweet. Let's go inside. And this is, this was built because we have so many train lines and we needed a place to connect them all. Yes. So John built this thing and it's pretty nifty. I'm not gonna lie. So um, can't remember the guy's name, but he has a minecart rapid transit system and he has lots of videos on YouTube. That's where I got the idea for this minecart dispenser. Um, it's pretty sweet. It works uh, very well. Uh, it took a lot of time to build because this was all built. Was this before or after creative mode? I think this was after. Yeah, because the um, working on the outside, we I know we used creative mode yeah. for that to build the side. So we'll go down in the maintenance tunnel. And I don't think I've been down here since, since yellow you, wool is the maintenance. I don't think I've been so down here since you finished this. So each one of these is a different line. You ride along this way, and when you flip one of the buttons upstairs, which I'll show you in a second, it flips this piece of track. So that instead of riding straight, you would turn and go out the track, and then go either out here to somewhere on this side of the map, or you would go out here to somewhere on this side of the map. And yes, we really have that many destinations. So I, f I forget how many tracks there actually is. There's a lot. Uh, 16 maybe? I think so. Something like that. We actually had to modify the, the design to get all the tracks into the building. Which yeah. is why there's a second floor now that John just fell even further into. So we have a lot of time invested yeah. in this train station. I gotta close that for safety reasons. Yeah. So what you do, the way this train station works, is you hit a button, any button, they're all connected, each one's a different place on the map. You hit a button and you wait right here and a cart's gonna come. And you can see the, the minecart dispenser, they keep moving forward. So the next one's ready to go. You jump in the cart, and it'll just automatically take you 
wherever it's going to take you based on what button you pushed. So I think we're going to go to the other side of the station. It's a kind of confusing and a little disorienting, but that's just the way I was able to get it to work. So here we go. We're on this line. Let's see where we go. I don't even know where we're going to go. And take your drama meme before you ride on this. Um, we are going out to where are we going? the... Your we're going to the switching station that I've built. Or no, we're not. Where are we going? We are going to the oh. Revolving Lighthouse that is not currently done. Uh, we'll give you a little preview. It's going to look like, like you know, a real lighthouse. There's the base. It's pretty sweet. The revolving parts up there. It's not done. Um, it's pretty cool, though. We'll show it off in a future episode. Definitely. So let's, uh, let's grab that minecart, actually. And ride it back in? No, we won't go all the way back in. We're going to ride to the, we're going to go to the switching station now. I got tired of building different lines, so over here where I needed two lines, I decided to build a switching station, which I'm going to show off right here, out of the way. Alright, so all you do is say you're in your minecart, and there wasn't a sheep in the way. <laughs> you going to get out of the way? All right. all no. Right. There he goes. Oh. Doesn't have that. No, let's just let it go. Alright, so sheep's back on the if you're riding on this line, uh, you can look right here where my reticle is and that piece of track will determine if you take the left line or the right line out there. So we want to go on the left line so it's good to go there. We're going to hit this button. It's going to send us on our merry way. Where does this go? So now we're going to go to the Valley of the Pyramids. Oh yeah. This is something we built uh, pretty early on in this world. Pretty early on, early on right after Minecraft came out for Xbox. After we figured out the uh, duplication glitch, because yeah. otherwise there's too much, too many resources involved in this thing. Yeah, so we'll just leave that minecart there. So we're gonna come up first into our lapis pyramid, and in each pyramid there's a chest with some lapis in that one. What's this one? I don't even remember. It's been a while. Our nether Another rack. rack. That doesn't have any in here, but still pretty cool. And that crackling you hear is the la is the nether rack one. On fire. Um, we lit the top layer on fire. So we have an iron block, which there's iron in here. Lots of iron in that one. Yes. And then we have our diamond with diamond in it, clearly. And the last one is? Our golden one with gold in it. All right, so we're actually going to walk outside. We're not going to ride back yet. So we'll show them off from the outside. And when, when we built this, this was not snow here. And with one of the updates, this map has become very snowy. I don't really like it. Your map's like half snow now, isn't it? It's almost all snow now. And it used to not be hardly, it used to be just a little bit of snow. Yes. So we just had to light the nether rack on fire because, you know, it looks pretty awesome. awesome. So, yeah. The, so, the others have a torch on top to light them up at night. Yes. Oh, and back behind there to the right is our test dirt pyramid. Yeah, we had to proof of concept it with a dirt one. We wanted to make sure all the dimensions worked and everything. Count how many blocks we needed, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, and so we built a dirt one as a test. It's pretty cool. Um, somewhere out here, you have a place, don't you? Is that out here somewhere? Um, yeah, it's out here somewhere. What are you doing? So, um, there it is, right there. Right. That's my newest house after he made me destroy my house in the city. I pouted and I came out here and I built this brick wonder. Um, it's not much of a house, but uh, don't mess with the roof, okay? Yeah, it's a full-on TNT roof. Yeah, it is. And so it would only take, um, you know, one hit or one light or one hit from the flint and steel or something, and it would be on. All please, right. please don't. No, oh, we're not going to say I won't it. Okay. save this. So yeah, actually no, no, that's not because auto saves turned on. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how long. So basically, take. it's just a it's just a basic brick structure. There's nothing inside. It's got a nice patio. Go to the other side of it. Go around to the. Oh yeah. Nice level, a nice little two level patio with some uh, ivy on top to keep the sun <laughs> off you. Very you know, classy. It's it's something. Classy. All right. So that's my newest house. That's like house number four I have. I think something. Let's fly over here. Follow this uh, minecart line, and this was all water before. Yeah, this was not ice. And what's that? This is your other house. What house is this? This is house number. Oh, this is my vacation property. 
I built a house, a vacation property in the snow for some reason. This was snow when I built this. Yeah. So the pool sure. freezes. So it's not the uh, not the best pool in the world. But uh, yeah, this is a nice little vacation property. It's got a nether rack, um, just a band of nether rack on it. The whole roof is a nether rack. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, I don't think I've ever really seen that. Yeah, it's just to, you know, keep you warm. A little couple paintings of, you know, Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong and, you know, Karate Adam or something. I don't know. Yes. And then, um, yeah. So we, we're going to ride the mine carts back in now. And whenever you ride back into the station, it automatically takes your cart. And if the disp cart dispenser's full, it'll automatically destroy your cart in some lava. Really? Yeah, I have it hidden. You don't actually ever see it. I've never seen that. But it's pretty cool. So we'll go right in and uh, see that. And yes, clearly we like our uh, train lines. We are all about the train lines. Right. Yeah, so you'll ride underground, go back to the switching part. Close your eyes. And here's where it gets nauseous. Oh my. I like my glowstone and orange wool, what can I say? And then you just get out and it's gonna take it automatically on a time delay to give you time. And it'll come up right over here. And I swear it will. There it is. And then, oh, it actually went in because the dispenser needed one more. Now the dispenser's full, so this piece of tractor's turned that way. And when the dispenser needs a cart, this piece of track will actually light up. So you could just have one sit here and it'll automatically feed itself. That's pretty cool. So we'll put another one on here just to show you. See, it goes out there and goes down. Oh. And there's lava out under the water or something out back there. Nice. So it's an automatic cart destroyer. It's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. So now okay. we'll go... Let's go to the bridge. All right, we'll show off the giant bridge. What should we call this bridge? Nice here? fountain, by the we way. Have, yeah, pretty sweet. We built it the other day. Oh, I didn't show you the giant orange crane. Or yellow crane. It's not orange, it's yellow. I know my colors. Some a little bit, at least. Alright, so this bridge, what should we call it? Um, The Stan Musial Memorial Bridge. Wow. There you go. You got the sugar cane tower, the glowstone tower, just cause, basically. So We needed a better way to get from basically where his house is and where the train station is over to this side of the map. There's a lot of stuff on this side of the map we're going to get to and you've got a lot of animals in the water there. Too. I need to fix that Apparently water. they're stuck. So, um, so we had a smaller bridge with what, two or three lines on it? Yeah, and it just wasn't big enough. So this bridge is, uh, what was it, eight by, uh, oh. by like 200? Yes. Or so? Yes. So it's a, it's a pretty awesome bridge. And we built most, most of that before, we built the whole thing before creative mode. This was mode. all before creative mode. This so. took forever. It did. And then down here was one of the, like, sec probably second or third thing I built on Minecraft, actually, was this underwater tunnel made out of glass and glowstone. And, of course, it has a minecart line in it, because that's how I roll. So the old bridge was, like, right here, and it was real low, and it just wasn't that good. Right. So this bridge is a whole lot better. Look at the animals. <laughs> yeah, I need to fix that water. It's like a animal killer. All right, so this is my castle. This castle's pretty badass. Some different lighting out here. All right, we need to go in through the minecart line. So you can ride minecarts in here, clearly. And then when I just had one minecart line in here, it had a lock, which was that switch would lock it, so nothing could get in. Uh, I need to update that though. So this three doors, and then out here is my take on a drawbridge. And you can't just walk out here and get around, you actually have to walk on the trap doors. So this was also pretty early on Minecraft before creative mode. You hit that switch, and it puts all of them down for you. So you can get out. So you can get in and out, go down to the harbor, down to the boat harbor. So, pretty sweet little castle. Little? Yeah, okay. Pretty sweet big castle. I was gonna say. Close that back up, open those. Um, this was our first place we started the uh, duplication glitch was in here, and <laughs> hence all the chest. And then uh, I put in front of the chest what's in the chest. So, there you go. Pretty sweet. Uh, 
Uh, what else do we need to show them in this castle? I don't think anything. That's about it. It's snowing here, which sucks. Oh, hey, it is snowing. So well, at least you have fires to keep warm. Now my other house is right to the right there. Let's go out here to your other house. This is my country house. When you know the stress of the city gets to me. Yeah, Mike has more houses on my map than I do. <laughs> So nice, this is my country home. Nice garden. With some sugar cane and some flower, little garden outlined in redstone torches because yeah, I, love the redstone. I could. Yep. It's a really Spartan house with a double bed because I'm a big guy. And I don't know. And a couple chests in the basement. And then I started a mine down here if you go all the way down. Yep. And the other side there's for a mine cart track which never got built. Yeah. But I had started, I mined all this out with the intent of actually mining. And um, apparently I retired from mining. And then we that. learned the duplication glitch. Yeah, I think that's what it was actually. So. Um, okay, so go. Do we, why don't you go to Daniel's house now? Uh, Just write right. that line right there. No, 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 it's not that one. Sorry. All right, it's we're gonna jump on this line here. Yes. We're gonna ride out to Daniel's aquatic home. This is pretty cool. I do believe is what he calls it. We should have him in for this, but that's all right. And he's annoying. Yep. Um, Definitely. <laughs> so this line takes you way far out of the way when it's right behind the train station, but whatever. Don't knock it. All right, so. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he left his door open. That was nice of him. Otherwise, we'd just have to break in. So, we do have a doorbell, but you can't hear it because it's, like, far away. You can hear it a little bit, but not like you should. Uh, I think this was mostly built before creative mode as well. Yeah, it's all underwater, which is a real pain in the rear end. Yes. He likes his artwork. Definitely. For some nice reason. Nice bedroom. Nice bedroom. Um, well, this house makes oh, me... I just that was really destroyed good. Destroyed those books. <laughs> House makes me have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, he has a mine as well that he lined in glowstone and lapis because he likes glowstone and lapis. Wow. I don't know if you've even seen this. Oh my! I've seen part of this. I haven't seen all of this. Um, I haven't been on your world in a while. Yeah. My goodness. So. Yeah, this is Daniel's mine. It doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't really. Well, didn't you guys blow? I... Wait, you're at bedrock already. Yeah. Wow. Didn't you guys blow up with some TNT or something? I may have put, like, a couple hundred pieces of TNT down here once. Whoops. Um, it was clearly an accident. Just to mess with him. Right. So. And then he expanded recently. Goes back up. Uh, yeah, you're on the, the other water. side. And Daniel's Aquatic Garden. Greenhouse. Greenhouse, sorry. Yeah. Clearly because it's inside, get it? Yeah. So he has a, a greenhouse completely covered by water. Lots of buckets. You don't see that very often. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Yeah, lots of buckets of water. Boy, that snow's annoying. In the snow, yes. Which is why it has to be a greenhouse, get it? Clearly. You should have some flames to keep it warm. <laughs> so as you can see, it's under what used to be water, now it's ice, except for right here where except there's that chicken. chicken. Well, we're good at trapping animals. <laughs> Poor chicken. Uh-oh. Oh, we're dead now, chicken. And there's holes in Daniel's house. No, it's in the ice. Oh, that's the ice. the ice. Sorry. So, yeah. All right, um, so we're going to go back over here. Super fast mode. And we're going to pick up one of these other lines. And we're going to go out to the Dirt Wonder that's not uh, finished. But ooh, ooh, we need to go to my other house still, too. Which other one? My underground house. Oh, yeah. Okay, Remember? We'll come back to that. I'd forgotten about it until just now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's the um, hazards of having 42 houses on a map. I do have a hidden, I wouldn't really call it a house, more of a room. I have a hidden room. Remember with the pistons? Is it like your panic room? It, kind of, because it's completely hidden. If you didn't know it was there, you'd never see it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, is that the one over... By the waterfall. Yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. Okay. It's not hidden, because it... Oh, I was thinking of a different one. No. Okay, that works, too. All right, so this is the Dirt Wonder, and I'm not really going to go in there. Nothing, nothing it, special. It, it makes me wonder. Actually, yeah. And then off in the distance is something really cool. It stands out for quite some time. Dude, it really does. All right, so America, you know, fuck yeah. Gotta love America. So I just built this the other day, I was just kind of screwing around, built a animal farm, but the animals keep disappearing. So they're Apparently they're magicians. Yeah, just kind of not going to worry about that. Um, I kind of like to build places that are just big and open, and don't really have anything in them, so um, yeah, it's big and open, there you go. It does seem to be a specialty of yours. Yes. I like to build smaller houses that are open and with nothing in them. Yeah, so. I'm all about the big houses. Apparently. You want to go to jail? So, second <laughs> floor, uh, yes. Second floor, big and open. open. I'm good at that. Then up here on the roof, I actually have a garden. So under these half blocks, there's actually water. Or these half slabs, I guess you call them. And then watermelon, which they regrow. 
So is this for the zombie apocalypse? Possibly. Okay. So we'll go flying out of here because there's really nothing else to see there. I just I thought it was pretty cool. Lots of glowstone. That's a big house. Glowstone all the way around. My or, goodness. Except for over here. Yeah. But all the way around to light it up at night so you can really see it. Right. And then America. Yeah. That flag is endorsed by Betty Ross. Totally. Or something, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna ride the mine line back in because uh, I, I like mine lines, and I don't think I put a start there. That's all right. You just have to skateboard it a little bit. You know, and then I boom. Pref I prefer the pressure plate or detector rail with with the powered rail, not instead of having torches. Although sometimes I do have torches. I think it's cleaner without the torches. You can go either way. Yeah, I like the torches. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. It's personal preference only. Where are we going now? Um, where are we going? What else is there to see? We go to my underground house. Okay. That's my fifth house on your map. Yeah. These stuff six. We'll uh, jump off right here somewhere because it's right over um, there. Yeah, it's yeah, right it's over right there. there. Yeah, you need to go. There's a line that goes in the back of it. Remember? Oh, there's isn't it? But oh. That's the entrance to it right there to the right down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the front entrance. I got bored one day when we were playing on his map, and decided to mine. And so I mined the house. Um, if you're wondering, this over here is called Redstone Island, even though it's not really an island. Uh, it's proof of concept for everything. Um, like this here was the train station proof of concept. Um, it's a whole lot cleaner in the train station than it is out here. But I needed to take the theory and make it work, so I did it all out here. So that's what this is. This is all Redstone testing stuff. A whole lot easier to have a test place. Yes. Please so, run. I didn't put steps in, clearly. clearly. So, and there's iron there. Whatever. There we go, let's run down these stairs. There's so I mind iron. this. You shouldn't run downstairs. It's kind of dangerous. It could be a tripping hazard. Yeah, right? I could, oh, good thing I'm Master Chief, though. Um, how do I get in? Break the uh, door in. You don't, apparently. Okay. <laughs> I think I forgot the lever on that side. <laughs> so we're on bedrock. So I mined down to bedrock, and then I ended up actually filling in a bunch of the spots. So, I thought the, the bedrock gave the floor a nice touch. Nice so there's here. three bedrooms on the right. They're for you, my guests and stuff. Okay. Clearly. On the left is, is my master bedroom. This See how house big is it is? Finished. Shut up. It is too. No, it's not. No, it's you really need, not. Like, beds and okay, stuff. hang on. Turn around. There's more in that room, isn't Was there? there? Uh, okay, maybe not. No. Okay. So then this is the this is the back patio. This is the receiving area. Yeah, and that's the train. Don't go up there yet. Go back into the house. Why? What else Just, is in here? You, you haven't seen what I've done here. What? Okay, first off, go back up to the, to the right. Here? Yeah, there's a pool on the right. Wait, where'd my Dude, pool that's go? that's in your world. Is that's, it? That's in your world. Oh, this is then all there's this, nothing else in this house. This is all <laughs> this house is. It's just kind of open, or not really open, but plain. All right. I got my worlds confused, sorry. So I decided sorry. to build this line entirely out of power rails, because that's how I roll. It's faster. Yes. So we're going to end up back on the bridge here in a second. Yes. Oh, it's the outside line, okay. Yeah, I didn't know which one it was either. Um... What else is there? There are a few other things. There's projects that are not completed. I have another home home way up in the northwest. Um, it's a little dirt shack, isn't it? Yeah, nothing really special. No, not really. Um, and back in the train station. Our brother has something he's been working on here a little bit here and there. But it's not done. It's not done. So we're just going to ride through the train station, and then uh, we'll be done with this video. Oh, that's hard to watch. I really should take some of that glowstone out of there. You really should. Maybe just make it all... Um, orange wool. There you go. All right. So, so yeah, that's John's world. Pretty much. Uh, we're Mike and John from Puma Plow. We will see you next time. Toodles.